have like the trifecta of all things craft here. You have crochet and you have sewing and you have fashion. This is a very, very trendy on point thing. How did you start making these? Well, I started, I love the look of the chunky wool, but I didn't like the feel of it. It was a little bit itchy, so I started lining them with fabric and it gives a little pop and a little, little extra um, style. How long have you been doing these? About three years. Okay, so you started as a crocheter? Yes. And you were crocheting just for fun? For fun, for friends, family, and you know, they didn't necessarily want them as gifts anymore, so I started selling them. Have you always been into craft? Uh, yes, I have always been into craft. I taught myself how to crochet back in college because I'm a fidgeter. So I just started picking it up and taught myself and started to crochet. But how did it come from being something that you did for you to something that you actually sold? I started giving them as gifts to friends and my sisters. And after, you know, the fourth or fifth Christmas, they didn't really want a scarf anymore. Did you want to give any more away? I'm just saying. Got it. Um, <laughs> when you created these, yeah. Pattern? Make it up? I just made it up. Okay. Yeah. And this is an infinity, obviously, so we can wrap it around twice. I love infinity scars. I have a really chunky one, but to your point, I find that wool yes. starts to... Itch. Yeah, right. it really so, does. And it gives a little, little extra pop. What I really like about this, this is all hand stitched, yes. right? Yes. Yes, that's correct. You Can you machine stitch this? I think one? you can, and it could just be that my skills are that great on the machine, but I feel that it can ruin the wool and it can ruin the knit Yeah. if you run it through the sewing machine. And I stitch it inside out and then pull it through so that you don't see that stitch on top. How long does it take for you to make one of these? About two hours. Two no. Hours. Mm -hmm. From start to finish? Yeah. Depending on how distracted I am, but yes. <laughs> and wait, that's the knitting, that's the crochet and the sewing? And the sewing, yes. When I first tried this, the fabric wasn't lined up. It was all wonky. It was, it was very interesting. So just keep practicing and just keep uh, refining your craft and you'll get there. I look around here and we have food products and soap products and clothing products and jewelry and ceramics. How do you incorporate other people's creativity and craft into what you do? It's all inspirational, right? It's, it's, it's seeing everybody's passion come to life right. and it's a great environment to be a part of. What is your number one tip for someone that wants to take their crochet to the next level? Um, well, any craft in general, start with what you like. So this started out of a necessity because I did not like the itchiness of the wool. So I 100% made this product for what I wanted and then tested the market to see if people liked it and apparently they do. So just go from there. I mean, if you're gonna like it, other people will like it. So number one, if you're gonna like it, others will like it, start with what you yes. know, have it something that you have a passion yes, for. Yes, absolutely.